Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a H&M haul that I know you guys all like. So I am so excited about these pieces. I hope they're still available. I'm gonna link everything down below as always in the description. Also, if you're new here, my name is Vivi, welcome. I am a lifestyle blogger and a reseller. I resell on the Poshmark app and I also have my own website. On this channel, I do mostly styling and haul video and a little bit that has to do with my reselling business. So if that's something you're interested in, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button so you can be alert every time I post a new video. My post days are mostly on Thursdays and sometimes on Monday. So check me out. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please go ahead and do so because I'm pretty active on there i post everyday inspirational looks and reels so check me out i'm fancy and chic on all platforms so without further ado let's get started so first i'm wearing this sweater i showed it in my previous haul i was not sure about this sweater because of the um the statement right here this ruffle it won't lay down i don't know how it's supposed to i think on the model is light laying down my mind just keeps standing up. So after I styled this sweater, <laughs> I fell in love with this sweater, so I kept it. So I'm wearing a cream full leather skirt. It kind of goes so well with this sweater, with the um, details and the textures of this sweater. I thought it paired well together. And I also paired it with my leopard print heels. Somebody asked me about these heels. I did thrift these, but I'm gonna look online if I should find similar I'm link down below. And with the sweater, I'm wearing a size medium sort of like a crop style I tuck it in but it stops somewhere here I thought I should go for a size medium since I want it a little loose the skirt I'm wearing a size 4 which is my normal size for um, H&M and it fits pretty nicely so this is the first look I'll be pairing it with my Zara bed that I got off of Poshmark and my H&M sunglasses Here's the next look. So this sweater I feature in one of my H&M haul. I think I got it in a size small at the time or medium. But I wasn't really sure about the fit so I had to send it back. And I reordered it in an extra large. And this is how I like my sweater to look. Like extra chunky and cozy. I love the feel of this knit. Oh my goodness. And I think this sweater was only $29.99. I'm not sure. But I love the feel of the sweater. I love the details. And I just love that I went for an extra large so it can look extra bulky and chunky. <laughs> and I did get these pants too as well in a size 4. I love the feel of the pants. It's lightweight, oatmeal color, lightweight. And um, I wish it came in the dark wash because I was looking for something in black as well. I didn't really quite like the one I showed in my um, other H&M video. This one, I love the feel of it. It's so soft, comfortable, and it just goes so well with this chunky sweater look. Chunky sweater look. And I pair it with my new heels, so this is the look I'll be going for. loving this look here's the next look so this top i got it in a size 4 h&m i love the details of this top i've been looking for a really nice denim shirt button up and when i came across this i was like i have to have it i love the fit it's so nice and it pairs well with my levi jeans that i've been having in my closet forever i bought this off of poshmark i really loved it 
it's, I think it's the 501 or something like that. I'm not sure. But it has that baggy kind of fit. I thought it go well with my leopard print heels. And this is how I will be styling it. This is the look I'll be going for. My camo bag and my camo jacket. This jacket is also available on H&M. I think it comes in two different colors. I'm not sure. I think a black and a cream. I'm not sure. But I did get mine in a size small. And this bag also from H&M. So this is the look I'll be going for. I love these pants. They're full leather. Sort of like a grayish nude tune. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but here's the color. As I come closer to the camera, I'm not sure what the color looks like in the camera, but it's supposed to be nude. I just paired it with this player shirt from H&M as well, and the shirt I got in a size 4. The pants, I did get a pants in a size 6, but it seems like it's a little, it's still a little too small, so maybe a size 8 would work. And I would say two size up because I'm usually a four in H&M. So I thought the six would give me a little bit of room to work with. But it's a little tight. I can't really squat. So with this, I'll go for two sizes up. So I will have to send this back and get it in a size eight. But I do like the way it looks so well with this plaid shirt. I've been looking for plaid shirt and... I mostly see like the green, the red. When I saw this nude color sort of tone, I was like, I have to have that. <laughs> I just love the, the, the color scheme and yeah. So this is the look I will be going for. And the shirt, I did tuck the shirt in, but the shirt comes all the way. It's a little long, so you can wear tights with these without your butt showing. with this I did order a sweater vest I kind of like the trend but I'm not sure if it fit my style so I'm gonna try it on on top of this and see what it looks like if I like it I'll keep it if I don't I'm gonna send it back I'm not really sure about that trend like I said so let's see what it looks like <laughs> so I did get mine in a large because I didn't want it to fit it um I like to look it looks nice on top of this I think it will also look nice with the tights and the white um, button up as well. Or uh, a white shirt dress will look nice with this. So yeah. Let me know what do you guys think. <laughs> next look if I tell you that I like neutrals believe me I really do like neutrals I'm gonna show you all the neutrals items that I got that is match matchy matchy and I hope you guys love it and if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and do so and also follow me on Instagram I'm fancy and chic so this is the look I got these tights they're so out already but I think they have it in black I got this new tights in a size medium and I did get the T the V neck basic T in a size medium but I think with this small shoe work your, your actual size shoe work because it's a little loose on me and I I mean I still like the look but if this match it does match the tights at first I wasn't sure but it does match the tights and I really do like the look I also got my combat boots from Walmart it was only $19, I think, $19.99 or something like that. But I do like this look, so. So, I 
like this so much. I got it in a sweatshirt. In the sweatshirt, I did get it in a size medium. It fit oversized as well. So I'm going to put that on and show you guys. I got it in the chunky knit sweater so I'm gonna put that on and show you guys how it look this is what the chunky knit look like and I am loving it I love how it feels I got it in a size medium I love the color it comes in different colors but I wanted the brownish nude so I went for this and it feels so soft and cozy and I just pair it with my H&M bag the tights is also a medium and i added some print my pointed toes steve madden heels so yeah you can also wear over the knee boots with this you can wear your chunky trainers with this you can do booties you can do combat boots it's all up to you next look is this animal print dress that i like it's so flowy it has like a um elastic what is it, it a whole elastic um detail going up here on the wrist area i like this like balloon sleeves and the neckline is really really pretty so with this i thought i should add my belt because it don't look flattering without the belt <laughs> And I just paired it with my booties. This dress so out, but I will look and see if they have similar, and then I'll link that. So with this look, I thought I should add this my black bag just to give it, you know, since the dress is already a statement, just go with like um, an all black accessory. So I am digging this look. Yeah. If it's cold outside, I will add my jacket. All right, guys, so I'm, I am digging this. I am digging this. So, yeah. I love this sweater so much that I had to get it in the black and I just paired it with my polka dot satin skirt and my Shein new bag and my new heels and I did get the sweater in a size small it's just so soft and I just had to get it in another color so yeah with this denim skirt that I got from H&M. I'm wearing a size 4 which is my normal size. I really have been looking for a denim skirt because I don't think I have any in my collection. I wanted a black and a dark wash um, blue. So I really love how this pairs so well with the, um, I tucked the sweater in. I really love how it pairs so well with this sweater. So I thought instead of going for all black kind of look with the over the knee boots I should pair with my four letter cream boots which I'm really loving the look I know some of you guys will disagree but I really do like this look I've been wearing these boots on repeat I really love this boots <laughs> with the all cream or just you know adding it to another set of color so yeah so this is the look I will be going for and I just added some arm candy and my necklace from um H&M so this is the look I will be going for
last piece that I got from H&M. This is pretty see-through. And this was $49.99. I love the beaded details on the wrist. I like the balloon sleeve. The whole embroidery um, detail going on with the lace. And with this, if you don't have a slip, then I don't know how you're going to wear it. I just happen to have this slip. I just happen to have this slip that I thrifted at from Salvation Army. It's a Forever 21 dress slip. And it just has been in my closet until I came across this to buy. So I was like, I do have something like that. So when I pulled it out, it actually does match the... Um, the same color and it goes so well and I'm about to style it so you guys can see what it looks like so I was just so lucky to come across this when I went thrifting but if you have something similar like this on another dress you can take that out and put it under this and you will be good to go here's the last look I love this dress love the embroidery lace detail going on I'm really glad that I had the slip to match this or else I don't know how I was gonna wear it but yeah and it, <laughs> I just love to feel the details. It just have a whole lot of details going on. So I thought I should just add my cream heels. You can add whatever color, brown, camel, black, over the knee boots, and you should be good to go. You can add belt if you want. And for me, I would just keep it this way because I like to dress like this. I don't want to belt it. I feel like it would take away from the details. I really, really love to dress the way it is. So I just added my Zara bag that I bought off of Poshmark and I thought it ties so well with this look the full leather and the um, lace and also the um, full suede the color so yeah so this is the look I'll be going for and the dress I did get the dress in a size small because it already look oversized and fits oversized so yeah <laughs> for the video thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video i appreciate the love i appreciate you guys liking commenting and subscribing it would mean a lot to me if you like any of these pieces let me know in the comment which one was your favorite and also if you're not following me on instagram my name is fancy and chic on instagram make sure you follow i'm going to be styling all these pieces on there i'm regular on my instagram account so watch out for more outfit and sport and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will talk to you later on my next video. And as always, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Bye-bye.